So we got NASA astronaut Scott Kelly spending an entire year in orbit, uh, set to come home in March of next year. And as mentioned, working on that fine motor skill study, one of uh, many one-year investigations uh, currently taking place on board the International Space Station. Uh, much of those um, set up and subscribed by NASA's Human Research Program. Uh, also has uh, another set of investigations, 10 in total, uh, that are looking into, among other things, the differences uh, that spaceflight actually has on Scott Kelly uh, when compared to his twin brother, Mark Kelly, former NASA astronaut here on Earth, and what we're going to be able to learn from it. Lori Meggs is standing by at the Payload Operations Integration Center at NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center with more. Lori? Think about all of the data that comes back from just one experiment and imagine trying to make sense of it all. And now you have twice as much data because you're studying Scott Kelly in space and Mark Kelly on Earth. Well, I met one man who's doing just that as part of the unique opportunity to study the twins. So tell me, what is your study? The study is actually to understand in incredible detail, biochemical, physiological, and I guess even cellular, what happens to people when they get launched into space and they're up there for a long period of time. Our job on this team, it's really a team project, is to be able to integrate massive amounts of data. So a variety of different labs will all be collecting data on one of the brothers that's actually in space, there's another identical twin brothers on the ground, we're gonna compare them. One, as I say, is in space, uh, living life and experience space life, and the other one's on the ground, and we're gonna see how they differ. They're, one's a nice control for the other, so to speak. Kind of a once in a lifetime chance, right? That's for sure, there's a very unique mission, no question. What excites you about it? I think um, we're very interested in this issue of how do perturbations change people's health, if you will. And there's no bigger perturbation perhaps than getting launched into space and spending a year up in space. There, there just is no other study like that. And we're very interested in just in general, how do perturbations of all sorts, uh, what do they do to the human body? And, and we'd like to understand that and ideally use that information to either help cure them if a problem arises from this or even prevent any adverse effects from occurring when people are put in these rather unusual situations. So what's the process? How do you study it? Well, what's happening here is we're drawing blood and urine and actually their poop. Uh, and we're studying all the biochemical molecules that are in those, basically all their DNA and their RNA and their proteins and their metabolites. So all, their whole collection of molecules. And by doing, by literally making millions if not billions of measurements, you can actually see the changes that occur when they're first launched into space, when they're up in space for a while. Uh, if one of them is actually getting a, a flu vaccination, we can see what happens to their immune response when they're in space. So these are all the things you can look at uh, and try and understand what happens with the human body in these unusual conditions. And that's where you all come in, because there's so much data. That's correct, yeah. So our lab is especially known for being able to take billions of different kinds of measurements and pull it all together to try and make sense of the data. Otherwise, it's just a lot of measurements. And we really want to try and understand how do you turn measurements into knowledge? How do we see really the biochemical pathways that change? And what does that mean in terms of the human body and physiology? And again, try and use that information to help um, the individual, you know, maybe recover from any adverse thing that might occur. So does this only have space applications or does it also have Earth applications? Well, I think it has both space and Earth applications. Obviously, the space is the immediate one, but I don't think we know how the human body reacts to all kinds of different conditions. But we'd like to understand the different kinds of um, responses the human body has to different kinds of stresses. And maybe by understanding one unusual way, like radiation in space or this launch, that would help us learn how to manage some of the other stress responses that occur as well. We, we just don't know, and this is what we're trying to discover from this kind of project.